we knew on the day that it hadn't fallen down. I mean, that was the, you know, I, we, had a, we had a look around the building, we had a look inside the building again, and we knew it hadn't fallen down. Um, but you, there was obvious signs of damage, especially between the, the, the backstage area and the auditorium area. We could see that that had sort of moved apart and clapped together again, and, and things were sort of, things had collapsed onto the stage and were um, obviously fallen inside. So, but we knew the place was standing, that was the main thing. Um, because the whole situation with the theatre is that it's actually three buildings, believe it or not. The damage to the proscenium suffered because the brick wall that was joining the, the old part of the theatre to the new concrete part of the theatre um, crumbled. I mean, it literally just pulled itself to pieces and ties were pulled out and various other things were pulled out. So it just clapped together and then the bricks collapsed onto the stage. I mean, the, uh, you know, the fire curtain was all torn and everything was, you know, that was a pretty chaotic scene and things. So yeah, absolutely, it was just a, it was a weak point. But it was, you know, there's, there's nothing you can do about that. It was, it was, it was designed to move as, as the earthquake strengthening and everything in the building from 1999 and 2000, when that, when that was done, it was all designed to, to have that flexibility, but not for an event like that. The, the strengthening itself stood up to shaking far in excess of what it was meant to and performed really, really well, which is why we still have what we have. Um, but of course, what we have is damaged, and and, uh, and you know, a year down the line, really now we're 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 close to making the the final plans of what we do with with fixing the theatre and, and bringing it back to life.